extra extra read all about it pisces this is all about you you can see my see my schwarzenegger poster <laughs> I'm, i pisces i am in a different location this week so the environment has changed a little bit but this is still all about you this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from born without boundaries this is an energy reading so it's not a horoscope this is based on intuitive connection to energies that i'm pulling for pisces sun moon rising wherever pisces energy influences your natal chart or influences your life so it could also be that you're dealing with a pisces pull up a chair because this reading is definitely going to help you out. Um, there's always an extended reading. So what it does is it, it applies tarot. I'll take a full tarot card spread and I'll dive deeper into the energies and I'll articulate things. I'll, uh, I'll be able to pull out specifics and it personalizes this reading a lot more and always includes your romantic tarot for this week. Um, Pisces, I make a new video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you'll get notified as soon as I upload all of this. Are you dealing with an Aquarius? I just, I just felt this really huge pull because there's such an aura, an era, an aura of mystery that's surrounding Aquarius. It's almost like somehow they're living in your body or your mindset this week this this having to under having to find a way to feel comfortable in a place that is intangible and that they can't understand so i don't know if you're you have aquarius in your life or aquarius is 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 somehow really influencing you or uh somehow affecting you this week but um there is this energy of being called to um, or, or being enveloped in something that is outside of your ability to comprehend. You, however, um, wouldn't feel uncomfortable with that. That is the realm that you live in and it's sort of your home. So let's see um, if this has anything to do with home. Let's get into these energies, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces bring a gent so this has to do with a new beginning um um also seeding the future it could be dealing with a child that you have or you as a child but there is a sense of uh, um a new start and a new hope <laughs> i hate to go all star wars on you but it really is that sense of something continuing on but it's almost like there's this energy because um, here's dear energy. It's love. It's gentle. It's something that you're nurturing and taking care of and you want to see it grow to fruition, but there could be some sort of concern that you have for it because it's nine. It's almost like there's something missing. There's one more step. And that step is the thing that is unclear. It's like, where do I put my foot? It's like, it's like you've lifted your foot up. You're ready to put the foot down, but where do I put the foot down? Do I put it down right in front of me? But what is right in front of me? Is it in front of me to the left, in front of me to the right? Like which, which direction do I go? There is, yes, there is something dawning. It's just about to basically be ready, but it's not ready yet. So if there is an energy of just, I don't know, I, I can, I, let me be honest with you, Pisces. I feel so hopeful. I feel so newness and freshness and just beauty. And at this point where you are right now is just living in faith, knowing that it's real, that the, knowing that, that this new life is coming, that um, there is something on the horizon that will change who you are, how you are. It's almost like you've been reborn somehow like into into a new form um you could have just changed jobs you could have just changed locations you could have just changed your mindset but it's almost like you've been reborn into a whole new form and it's like or you're trying something that's brand new and you're like that shaky doe that shaky little uh baby deer that shaky baby fawn fawn is the word i was looking for it's like you're that shaky fawn that is um it's like you're a newbie at this. It's weird because it's almost like you're a you're a newcomer in a place that you've you've been forever. Like that's that's the energy that's crowning your reading. It's like but it's it's a freshness. It's not like I'm embarrassed or I feel self-conscious or I I you know I don't like uh uh no, no. It's not even much fear. It's um it's a sense of a second chance. It's a second chance. It's a second chance at something that you've wanted your whole life or you've been working on your whole life. There's your cards. There's your cards. 
Mm. Big reading. Okay. Ooh. So this is eight divine timing and divine guidance. Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's divine timing and guidance. Uh, th this is destiny. It wasn't supposed, this wasn't supposed to happen until now. Um, and it took a lot of faith for you to get here, but this is also a sense of, yeah, no, that's, that's the message. I'm not even going to try to stretch it out. Um, this could not have happened until now. Uh, nothing is wasted. You've been through a lot. Also the energy of nine. So it's like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm just before. And there's, yes, there's that essential, that's that frustration or why do I always get the shit under the stick or that, um, energy of why am I always eating scraps? It's feeling like you're always eating scraps. You're always on the dark side, eating scraps. There's always something that is, uh, a, a mystery or intangible, or it's like, it's all, it's, it's almost like th there's just that one thing that's off that you're not able to achieve or accomplish. That one thing that's off is that it's almost like why you had to start again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Be playful. So this is the energy of six. Um, six is love. So this is, um, it's Gemini energy. It's stay, it's yes. It's keeping things it's keeping things light. It's keeping things shallow. And I think that that's the, the pathway through. That's, that's your message from spirit is the reason why you may always fall short is because you go too deep and you go too mysterious. And there's a point where you disconnect from people and they aren't able to understand you because not most people don't speak that language. And the people that do already notice you, already listen to you, they're already fans, they're already supporting you. And yes, you love that. But in order to grow and expand, there's this idea of being able to translate your intangibleness into something that is tangible and something that people can digest. So this is a sense of how do you do that? You stay light, you stay airy, you stay fresh, you stay fun, you stay playful. And that's like the missing, that's the missing step. It's like the missing step is don't take this so seriously, even though you take it more seriously than anything in the world. Enjoy this process. Have fun with it because it's that lack of enjoyment. Maybe that feeling of just being so obligated and so, is so connected that where's, where's the joy? Are you leaving room for there to be joy, Pisces? Because that seems to be the missing ingredient. <laughs> This is your central energy. You're coming out of the dark. There's transition. There you're once you figure out how to just just be more cocky and be more playful, um you're going to get that opportunity or that level of recognition that you haven't gotten before. So this is all like everything that you've done before, maybe even things that you've already worked on are now getting a second chance because you found a way to deliver them or serve them up so that they are more digestible. This is a sense of being recognized of people understanding you, of people seeing you. It's almost like, it's almost like you're being seen for the first time by people that you've been in front of for your whole life um trust in divine detours this is sagittarius energy as our south node goes into sagittarius this is a sense of uh watch out for the pitfalls and watch out for the pit watch out for the pitfalls that's the message that you need to hear watch out for falling back into those aspects of those parts of yourself that are just too easy for you to get lost in your dreams your fantasies your tendencies toward um connecting so psychically that it's almost like you don't use words you don't need words and you make yourself then unavailable to everybody that can't melt into you so there's this energy of don't fall into that pitfall um there there is a need for you to stay tangible and to stay whole and to be in order to be recognized by the people that you want to see you so it's taking a detour taking a hard right away from what you normally would do pisces and that's not to say be insincere to yourself it's say try to deliver yourself in a way that's different than normal and you will be divinely led it's not like you're just going to be out there like all, all by yourself, this opportunity, it will come up. 
and you're just like take like something that you wouldn't have taken in the past take it take it because it's going to open up the door that is that final step that you needed um um freedom is yours what uh, this is aquarius energy so this is stepping through into your truth this is finally being liberated from that cycle of over and over and over again um just missing it by this much just this much it's like but why you know why can't i get the grand slam even if i even if i get like you know three three batters on why can't i get the grand slam i always just miss it by this much your this is a sense of being able to break through that barrier by using your faith by trying something new uh, seeing your way out just look at the card for a second just just take it in um he's a very special creature he is literally the great spirit in 3d form um uh he he, he actually uh this is he's at the front he's at the front of this deck so if you know anything about animal totems then you know that the white stag is divinity actually coming to you in the 3d world uh and saying follow and saying you are my equal you are the one that i choose so this is definitely energy of being divinely guided, of being tapped in. I told you that you wouldn't be alone. Even if this was a, um, uh, it's almost like, a, even if this is a path that you normally wouldn't have taken, you'll know that now is the right time to take it. And you're getting these messages. They're, they're coming to you specifically so that you will know. You will receive these messages. You will receive messages maybe from um, uh, somebody that you admire um recognition from somebody that you admire i don't know if there's an aquarius in your life that you admire a great deal but there is a sense of of finally being able to be connected to that level that level up from where you were um surrender now fly too close to the sun just keep going it's, it, it, this is Sagittarius energy as well. Enjoy the chaos. But more than that, it's like take the risk. Be bold, Pisces. It will not, I'm telling you right now, the path, the detour that I'm telling you to take will not feel comfortable to you. But it, you will know that it's right. Spirit is going to literally be pushing you down that direction. And it's just like you can't not go. Like a moth to a flame. Follow it. Follow it. In other words, fulfill, fulfillment is yours. There's a sense of, at this point, I will do anything. I will do anything, including getting out of my comfort zone and trying something new so that I can connect with new people who will finally recognize me and see me. And, and that's the breakthrough. That's the thing. It's almost like the thing that you didn't want to do, the thing that you thought would make you a sellout or would make you lose your sense of self is that one thing that you needed to just talk to other people that you never talked to before so that they have a chance to get to know. it's almost like a conversation starter did you even say hi you know if you weren't speaking their language maybe they didn't understand you it's because i'm like think about language i'm a native english speaker right speaking french isn't me losing myself it's me learning how to talk to people who uh, I wouldn't have been able to talk to before. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's not like you're losing yourself by trying this. And I think for the longest time you feared losing yourself. You felt like you would just like really just explode into flames, like lose everything that was special and unique about you. But that isn't true. It's just, it's just opening yourself up to another conduit for communication. So you can communicate with more people. Um, <clears throat> Transformation is beautiful. Awakening to new prospects, new pro new you. <sighs> Learning how to navigate a really tricky situation. Um, I'm not going to say that this is an, an energy that you probably might 
maybe should fear a little bit. Um, and maybe that kind of inspires you to like keep going because there's something about Pisces that live up to challenges. This is scorpionic energy. This is a sense of, it could be somebody actually helping you manipulate, like almost like Charlotte with Wilbur and Charlotte's web, a sense of somebody that is pulling strings to help you out. And maybe that's what it is. It's almost like you never wanted to take those strings that people could pull for you before. You never wanted to take advantage of them because you thought it was insincere and that it wasn't you getting things the right way that's how people get things is through network Pisces that's how it happens so it could very well be that you are now allowing somebody to pull those strings for you and make those connections and take those opportunities <clears throat> that God is presenting to you because that's what they're there for to take them and to like like move on to the next step um, this is also scorpionic energy. Um, this is a completion of a cycle or something coming to fruition. It's finally, it's finally seeing your direction. <laughs> it's finally seeing your direction. It's finally seeing your way in the dark. It's finally being able to spot what it is that you've been looking for and searching for and be able to light the way forward. This is, it could be Scorpio Pisces. that's helping to, uh, a Scorpio that's helping to guide you forward and pull strings for you to help you break through. You may not want to have wanted to trust this person um, or let them back into your life but essentially um, they're helping you and and they're supposed to you're supposed to even if even if it's like even if it's like um, I don't want to say making a deal with the devil uh, even if it's something that makes you a little bit uncomfortable you're supposed to trust this person because this is the next step to your path they can get you through this um, and they can get you through this embrace the in-between this is Libra energy, so this is partnership. This is trusting, trusting in a, in a situation that is a little bit unbalanced. Um, trusting in others, trusting in companionship. Flamingos flock together. In fact, that's why they have the colors that they do to look like one big. Um, continuous creature instead of little bitty ones to make themselves look bigger and protect themselves so this is definitely the energy of hang out with this flock it's like this 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 craziness this murkiness almost feeling like you're going to disappear into being just like everybody else no you're going to connect with everybody else this is how you connect with the collective this is how you connect with with people who um you know almost always were blocked from you because they saw you as an outsider because because in on some level you were saying I'm I'm I, I don't want to be a part of them. Well, why not? Like, would, would why would they like you if you don't want to be a part of them? Type of, type of energy. It's like it's like like I said, learning a different language and learning how very important it is. I'm not saying assimilate. I'm saying demonstrate that you understand the importance of these things to people. And because you can demonstrate it, now you're connecting to more. So embrace this. Hold on embrace this murky period embrace this this sense of unbalance and um allow this partnership may probably with the scorpio because you have three scorpio could be with the sagittarius uh but you have three scorpios embrace this energy embrace it embrace it embrace it pisces even if this is somebody that you didn't want to let back into your life what's more most important about this card is is that it's your future it's looking into the future. This is feeling good about yourself and being strong. In other words, everything, the step that you're going to take now in this direction that you didn't originally feel comfortable in is actually going to in, in, make you stronger for the future. It's, it, you didn't realize how weak you were being, that you were giving into the weaker parts of yourself by thinking you were like not selling out. But that's a bunch of BS. What you were doing was cutting yourself off at the knees. So this is a sense of having strength and seeing that the future is, is um, it, it's, it, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> I get like, there's no one else, there's nowhere else to put it. Um, um, use your mind wisely. Um, this is a, 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 a 11, but it's uh, in reverse. So, uh, then this is your grounding energy. A sense of real, basically realizing how stupid you've been. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, Pisces, and I'm not trying to insult you, but it's it's almost like, wow, I've been really silly. Like, it's how many times has somebody been saying, here, work with me, work with me, work with me? I'm like, no, that's selling out. That's selling. 
It's an opportunity that it's like Jesus is like trying to save you from the flood. He's sending you the freaking boat and you're like, nah, nah, that would be selling out. God's just going to miraculously carry me away from this situation. But it's like God's sending you the freaking boat. Get on it. <laughs> it's almost like realizing how silly I've been, how foolish I've been. That's what this energy is. Time to let go. Um, but there is also a sense of holding on. It, yeah. So you, you've been, you've been almost childishly, and I don't mean to be insulting, but it's true. Almost childishly holding on to something that, uh, is, is, is anchoring you, holding you back. Yeah. And you're realizing it, but the thing is you've realized it and that's why it's like, you've recognized it. Um, you've seen it, you've seen it for what it is. And so in the future, there's a lot of prosperity and abundance after you have allowed yourself to shift away from this mindset that's actually deconstructive and limiting. That's what you're realizing. It's like, oh my God, this whole time I've been thinking, I'd be like, I'm true. I'm a true artist, but really you've been deconstructive and limiting yourself. And if you just walk through that portal of abundance, guess how many more people will be able to see and be introduced to glorious you and all the things that are so important for you to share with the world. So you have a lot to say and you have a future of abundance. And this is the, this is, this is the step through. This is the step through. Uh, hold on. Let me flip the uh, camera around. We're having a lot of transcending, transcend, transcendental energy this week. Um, and as we go into the age of Aquarius and we travel into the north node of Gemini, there is a sense of being able, uh, like, in other words, lightening up Pisces. So Gemini likes to communicate. They're the most exceptional communicators in the Zodiac. They rule the house of communications. Um, and, and that's why they're so amazing and wonderful at being able to say things that everybody understands. And they don't see it as shallow or selling out. They see it as getting it, the job done and connecting. So there is this energy, Pisces, of you being able to like let that need it. It's almost like the depth, the depth that you've gotten. It's almost a pitfall for you that depth that you've gotten so secure and it, it almost makes you feel special by always being this deep, but it's like holding you back. It, it's an anchor around. It's not, it's, it's not a root. It's an anchor around your um, foot and you're holding yourself back. So let it go. As we shift, there's a diametric shift in energy here. That's saying, please stay on the surface more Pisces because the future is up here. And, and there are opportunities that want you to go in this direction and stop calling them shallow and stop saying you're selling out. You're not doing any of the sort. What you're doing is you're realizing that this opportunity, opportunity was right in front of you the whole time that this is actually not you selling out it's you trusting and having faith in spirit that spirit has sent you the conduit to go to the next step it's like it's like you keep wondering why you're stuck well you're stuck because of your own stubbornness that's what it is you're stuck on your own preconceived notions of what truth and value is and now that you see that it's not true guess what you can take that boat ride that spirit's been offering to you for the past 20 years of your life. I want to flesh this out a little bit. <sighs> um, come into a, sort of a more tangible understanding of these energies uh, and see what else we pull. And then, of course, your romance reading is going to be there, too. The uh, link to the extended is below, Pisces. I'll see you guys over there.